I would like to introduce the Mad Men to. Hi everyone, welcome to the Mad Mentor and in today's video I'm going to show you how to speed up your Amazon Fire Stick, your Fire TV or the Fire TV Cube. There's nothing worse when you're trying to watch something and you keep getting problems like video playback being really sluggish or you're trying to install content and it takes forever. So keep watching and I'll show you a few easy tips keeping a happier device. Before we begin peeps, if you haven't already, subscribe and click on the notifications icon and you'll get alerts for more weekly uploads. So to start things off I'm going to scroll all the way to the right until you get to settings. You can then go down and then scroll to the right until you get to applications. Click on applications. Scroll down and click manage installed applications. And then as you can see there's all your applications on your Fire device. So the reason I'm showing you this bit is all your applications store data on your device which can make it really sluggish. So if you take a look at Alexa Shopping, as you can see it's got cash zero. So I'm then going to move on to the next app and as you can see it's only got 416 kilobyte. So I'm going to move on to the next one. That's got 369 megabyte. Considering I've never used Amazon Photos I'm going to get rid of that. So all you need to do is click on Amazon Photos. You can then scroll down to where it says clear data. If you're using Kodi make sure you don't click clear data because it will clear everything. But for Amazon Photos I never use it. So I'm going to go ahead and click clear data. And then you have to click it once more to confirm it. And then as you can see it's got rid of the data and the cache already. So I'm going to come out of here and move on to the next one. And as you can see the App Store's got 6.06 .06 megabyte, that's hardly anything. Download has taken up zero. Downloads has got zero. Files is zero. Game Circle zero. IP Vanish is only 36 kilobyte. Kodi as you can see 67.56 megabyte. So I'm going to click on Kodi. And we need to scroll down to clear cache. Don't click on clear data. And you'll notice a few seconds after you've clicked on it, the cache will be zero. So like I mentioned before, if you've got applications taking up your cache, it's going to make your device a bit more sluggish. So that should certainly help. So I'm now going to come all the way out of here. So if you click back, click back again and back once more till we get back to the settings page. We're then going to scroll to the right until you get to My Fire TV. On your device it might be called Device. So go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and click on about. Scroll all the way to the bottom and I recommend that you check for a system update. If you don't update it, it's going to make it sluggish, it doesn't always fix things. So go ahead and click on system update, it will quickly check. And then as you can see on mine, it's completely up to date. That's just another thing that I wanted to mention. It's not going to necessarily speed up the performance, but it's going to help with any crashes and things like that. So next I'm going to come out of here and I'm going to scroll down and click on developer options. I just wanted to mention this because most people are probably going to have this turned on. You only actually need this turned on if you're going to install any third party applications like Kodi. So if you're not going to install any more apps just turn this off. And that just stops any third party apps from trying to get into your system. It's just a bit of added security. So I just wanted to throw that in there. So I'm now going to scroll all the way back to the main menu. And I'm going to show you a little tip about Kodi. So I'm going to back out all the way to the main menu. I'm going to scroll down and then click on Kodi. Just going to wait a few seconds for that to load. And as you can see we're in the main menu. So in a little while in the top right you should notice some pop-ups. It's going to start to say clearing the cache, the thumbnails and the packages. And that's because I've got the One Nation portal or the One Nation wizard installed. So you can choose any of the wizards or any of the portals. And what they're going to do is automatically clear all of your cache, your thumbnails and your packages. So you don't have to ever do it. So when you're watching a film, you don't have to pause a film and clear the cache. It will just do it for you. So just wait for the few pop-ups to disappear. And it's as simple as that. It's all done. So if you want to install One Nation, the link's on my screen about now. So I'm going to come out of here and then lastly, before you go, I wanted to talk to you about using a VPN. 
I do recommend installing a VPN if you've not got one already. It keeps your online activity from being tracked and it makes Kodi work much better. I'm using IP Vanish, it's the best VPN in the world. Really easy to install and use. So my install guide's on the screen about now and there's a discount link in my description. So that's it for this video peeps, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and click on the notifications icon and you'll get alerts for my weekly uploads. If you enjoyed, please smash like, comment to let others know it's working, share with your mates and check out my other videos. See you next time. Peace.